What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here from GuitarJams.com. Hope you guys are doing great out there. Uh, a lot of requests for this song. It's a beautiful song. It uses beginner chords, but there's a few things I'm going to show you that you can spice up your beginner chords with, you know, for the more advanced players that I hear from out there. <clears throat> uh, let's see, though. If you are a beginner, though, I have a strumming series that will really help get you going. And it's like a DVD quality strumming series. It's totally free. It's in that link below this box here. I think it'll help the beginners out there especially. Uh, but anyway, let's zoom in and break this one down right now. Here we go. So uh, we're going to use nice beginner chords to play this. We've got the capo on the third fret. And it's in 3-4 timing, which means 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3, 1-2-3. As opposed to groups of four. So if you're straight up beginner, we can start with the C major chord here. Third fret, second fret, first fret on the B. You hear that? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Just like that. The next chord is A minor. Look at that. Just one finger needs to move to that second fret of the G string, and we got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then we need an F chord, which if you're a straight beginner, you could do that, which is third, second, first. Um, you know, if you can play a full bar chord, that's gonna be great, or this other way that I like to play it, which is kinda like the bar chord, but instead of barring it, your index is on that first of the B. And then finally a G chord. I tend to play it this way coming from this F with ring, middle, and pinky. But most beginners start with it that way. You can do either one. Okay, so let's just try that. So we got one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Now F. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then G. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So that's the most basic thing you can do. Let's spice it up a little bit. Okay. So you could do the bass note. See that? One, two, three. You could even alternate notes. So here's the other thing. When we go to A minor, we're going to do a walk down. Check that out. Boom da da, boom da da, boom da da. Middle finger goes to the second fret of the A string. Same rhythm to A minor. Try again. So one thing I heard in the tune is a hammer on. You can do it this way, but I'm doing it this way. Uh, it's a hammer-on to the second fret, open A string to second fret. So you got. It. 
put it all together. There you have it. Uh, another song to add to your list. I uh, hope you had fun with it. And uh, remember, if you're trying to get your strumming better, I've got a strumming series uh, in the link below this box. Thanks so much for the support. Hope to see you uh, out in the social media world, Facebook and all that stuff. Uh, or YouTube again. See you soon.